It's a lot of fun, really. I mean, a bunch of guys. It's a, you know a whole different crew than you know what you're used to maybe on campus. Uh, it's fun to take something a little more serious in school. Um, kind of get out, run around, be competitive. Holding a captain role, you know, not having the C on your chest, but indirectly having that leadership role is really something special to me, especially with these guys. These captains not only have to worry about being a leader to their team, but also about when a storm comes through and they're unable to practice on their fields because they look like this. And that's only the beginning. Especially in the state of Iowa, you know the weather's so crazy here, but we try to handle it as calmly as possible. I mean, it can get kind of hectic at times, but it comes basically down to checking the weather on a day-to-day -day basis, making sure that if it is going to rain, we're getting in touch with other facilities to make sure that we are able to play there. If not, we kind of have to scramble around to find a place to play. But even that has costs, too, if we have to use another facility, such as we did this past Sunday when we played. We have to get an insurance policy. We also have to pay the school to let us to have them let us use the field. So it's pretty hectic and it's kind of stressful, but at the end of the day, you know what, it's, we're just happy to play. So uh, it's a lot of work scheduling that stuff, um, <laughs> coordinating with other teams, other you know presidents, other captains, uh, and a lot of things can go wrong, a lot of moving pieces. So playing a game, first it starts off way early in the fall, right when school starts. You know season's not until the spring, February is normally when it starts. You have to start talking to teams, okay, you know, we owe you a home game, you owe us a home game. Uh, we can come to you these weekends because you have to get your conference games in, but then again, you also have to meet a minimum requirement of games to make nationals. The minimum requirement is 12 games for nationals. This season, the lacrosse team has seven away games and seven home games scheduled. And how much for just one home game, you ask? It'll cost them about two grand. This pays for the facility, insurance, the out-of-state referee travel, and any other fines. For an away game, toss in transportation, lodging, and food. That's a pretty penny, though, for uh, paying for 35 guys, you know, and all their uh, their smell equipment. But uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's for the love of the game. And, uh, you know, like I said, Midwest weather, Midwest lacrosse. It hasn't grown as much as in the east, you know, Syracuse, Virginia. Uh, we're hoping in the next few years, you know, maybe Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, they'll all go D1. And right now we are stuck with the MCLA D1, uh, D1 club. Um, hopefully in the future it will lead to bigger and better things. This is Taylor Axelson, Daily Iowan TV Sports.